Hey, good morning, welcome back to Smithy's over 100 golf courses in a year. Uh, today is Sunday the 10th of July and I'm just travelling from Newcastle up to Scotland and I've come to a course that's uh, one of the few I've not played in Northumberland. Nine Holes Ruler it's called. So we're at Ruler Golf Club, this will be course number 101 this year. Let's go and see what it's got. Ladies and gentlemen, it's course number 101 of 2022. It's Willer Golf Club on the tee. The man who had a magnificent day yesterday at the Rugby League Magic Weekend at St James's Park in Newcastle, watching one of the best games ever between St Helens and Wigan from Kirk and Tillich in Scotland. Smithy! That's a look at the first of the 10th tee at Willer. It's a nine hole course. Two sets of tees, so basically I'm just going to pick the furthest away one. So the tenth hole, it's 363 yards up the hill. Looks a long way. That's the first tee just over there. So play the tenth tee. And that's the view of the green when you come up the hill at the first. Slight dog leg as well. Still rising, but not as steep. Ditch in front. It's the second hole at Willer, or the 11th I'm playing off. Uh, it's 346 yards. Uh, dog leg to the left, up the hill. It's going to dog leg quite steep. A lot of bushes in front on the on the tee shot. That's the second tee just to the right, about 30 yards. Yeah. That was a lovely morning. It's just after 9 o'clock in the morning here in the Thumberland. So we look round. Look at that. Lovely setting, very nice to be out here at this time, and it's roasting. As you come round the dog leg, uh, the green at the second is way up the top there, on a plateau. And that's a tough setting shot, out of bounds on the left. It's a third toilet at Willow, uh, par 342 yards. A lot of bushes to clear. Uh, it's almost on the level, slight rise, you can see the green up there. Uh, playing off the 12th tee because it's a longer shot. I don't know where the third tee is yet. Uh, so having played a few shots off the 12th tee, lost a couple of balls into the rough. I'll come up to the third tee. Uh, same green, but it's up the hill, totally different hole altogether. 108 yards. The par 3 playing down with a wee ditch in front. No bad view from the tee either. Oh, this is the 4th and 13th holes. Uh, playing off the 13th tee, which is 583 yards. Par 5, down the hill, going to dog leg right. And the 4th tee is just over on the right hand side there, it's 538 yards. So, as usual, we'll play the longer one. It's a look down to the green at the 4th. Ah, it's a long way, uh, 583 yards, glad it's downhill. Clubhouse at the back. Fifth hole at Willer, 367 yards. Par four. Ah, and it's all uphill. It's going to be a tough one. We just come down the hill at the adjacent par five fourth hole. So here we go, back up again. Ah, it's a 14th tee over there, about 30 yards to the right. So not really much of a difference. Let's look up the sixth at Willer. Uh, 314 yards, par 4, got a dog leg to the left, uh, I'll go over and have a look at the 15th as well. Just walked down to the 15th tee, equivalent to the 6th. Uh, it opens the dog leg out, makes a much straighter hole, uh, so it's, it's very different. 337 yards this one, slightly longer, par 4, still slight dog leg to the left behind the trees. And that's the dog leg opening out at the sixth. The green seems a long way away because it's uphill. Still a fair bit to go. That's the seventh hole, 303 yards, uh, elevated tee. Uh, you see the fairway down there and then it's going to spring round to the left slightly. All that out of bounds on the left hand side. Highest point of the course, let's have a look. Panorama round. That's over to Scotland over there. A 
Oh, you can actually see the sea, the North Sea, away over in the, the distance. Just noticed that there. It's heading up towards Berwick. I'll come back to the hole. The alternative tee, the, which will be the 16th, is a par 3 further down. We'll have a look at that too. This is further down, this is the 16th tee. To the same green, but it's a par 3, 197 yards. Oh, it's, it looks rather tough. Ah, this is a green on the 7th at Willa. I've actually got a birdie putt, so I thought I'd film this one. With 30 odd foot, I think. Still a chance. That's a look from the seventh. Away in the distance, that's the actual town of Woola. It's about three miles away there. Again, I look round. It's over to Scotland. And the North Sea up there. Beautiful setting. That's the view from the 17th tee. You can straight across the 7th green and uh, the equivalent the 8th hole the tee's over there it's a par 4 the 8th but this is a par 5 at 483 yards going down the hill and this is the 8th tee uh, it's a long par 4 425 yards I say it's gone straight down the hill there look back over and that's the equivalent tee the 17th when you're ground the second time which is a par 5 Looking down at the same green. Ah, this is the green at the 8th and the 17th. I'm about to play my third shot at the 17th, which is a par 5. So, this will be 3 into the green. Clubhouse away down the distance. But I'm also playing it as a par 4. And I just noticed my second shot to the par 4 is dead. That's a birdie. Oh, that's a nice shot I've played. Thank you. Oh, that's a strange one on the 8th and the 17th. On the 17th, it's a par 5. And I've got about a 15 foot for, putt for a birdie. And the 8th is a par 4. I'm playing the two at the same time and I'm a foot away, so that's a gimme. Played rubbish apart from this hole. Right, this is the 9th and the final hole at Willa. Uh, it's dog legging, so I've got to play it out to the right and then it comes back in. It's downhill all the way, the green's are way down the distance there. Uh, so you've got to push it out right. Too far for me to go to try and take it on. Uh, the 18th tee, the alternative tee is only about 10 yards in front here. So there's not much difference. Let's look down here then at the 9th green at Willa. It's a big wide circular green, it says. In fact, it looks huge. Clubhouse just over to the right there. Downhill. Oh, that's a nice par 40 finish here at Willa. Oh, that's a very nice course. Nine holes, two sets of tees. Oh, I'd say four of the holes. Uh, the second set of tees makes the hole completely different. The other five, I'd say they're only about 10, 20, 30 yards different. Didn't make any difference to the hole, really. Uh, it doesn't cost much to play here. It's a lovely setting. Yeah, you're high up. It's a very hilly course. Uh, not many flat holes. Most of them are either uphill or downhill, so it can be a tough walk if you're not fit enough. Setting's beautiful. Uh, way up high. You get to look right round across Scotland, across the North Sea, way down across Northumberland. Uh, it's really nice. Uh, fairways are in really nice order. The greens themselves are a wee bit bumpy. Uh, they've been spiked not so long ago, so they're not quite recovered from that. Uh, well, not too bad, but just a wee bit bumpy in some places. Uh, it's, it's just a small course in the middle of nowhere, nine hole course. But uh, thoroughly enjoyed it. What am I going to give it? Be a 7.5 for me. Yeah, well worth playing. And that's filled a gap. I've played virtually everything else within 50 miles of here. So I'm just heading off up to next part of the day, off up to Scotland. Across the border we come. Thank you. Ah, just looking back down at the, the ninth green at Willa. I forgot to say if you come here, uh, bring a few spare golf balls. I've lost a few. Oh, the rough is quite penal. Uh, you've really got to be accurate off a of tee. You go into the rough, you're not going to find your ball at all. A lot of these, these bush things, I can't remember what they're called. Ah, some lovely holes on the course. Anyway, 
That's all. Cheers.